Today is the day that we could win the Premier League. Let's get into the episode. Three fixtures to review since the last time we met, the first of which was a 3-0 home win against Everton. Old Bamiyang getting his first goal since his return and Nicolas Pepier getting a brace as well. Next up was an absolute thrashing of Wolves at home, 6-2. Aubameyang, Nicolas Pepe and Guendouzi all with braces. They did get two goals back though through Raul Jimenez and Pedro Neto. Leander Dendong got sent off in the 82nd minute. In the first leg of our Europa League tie, we will be seeing the second leg today. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang gave us the goal that gives us the slight advantage going away from home against Roma. Their keeper did have a very good game as you can see by his average rating. So we've got a bit of work to do in this second leg. And this is how the Premier League table looks. After those fixtures, we are six points clear with three games to go in the Premier League. We've got Manchester United up first today, away from home. If we win that, chances are we've won the Premier League. So these are going to be the boys that I trust with the job today. Unfortunately for us, a bit of an injury. Ruben Diaz is out for a further three weeks after already being out for 11 days. And the likelihood is he's going to miss the rest of the season. Thankfully, we've still got Socrates. Burnt Leno in goal, Bellerin, Socrates, David Luiz and Tierney in the defence. Lucas Torreira and Matteo Guendouzi in the centre with Nicolas Pepe, Mesut Ozil and Everton all playing behind the uninjured Aubameyang. So Man United have obviously had a very good season themselves, sitting in third place in the Premier League. It's unlikely they are to win the title now. It's likely between us and Liverpool. But they've still got a pretty strong side and being away from home, this is why we have struggled the most, particularly against the biggest sides. They've got the likes of Diego Jota sitting up top. Bernadeschi they must have signed at some point. Granit Xhaka, of course, our former player who they signed in the summer. Ugh, it's going to be tough today, but if we can get the win, if we can get it, we have completed our objective of winning the Premier League with Arsenal in the first season. Let's kick off. First 15 minutes or so have been going well looking at the match stats the first highlight of the game is a corner for us Aubameyang gets his head in it if was that the highlight really football manager show me something else Torreira nips in and pinches the ball after David De Gea's clearance Guendouzi goes for goal he hits the post so close 15 minutes in we're playing very very well Lucas Torreira with a free kick plays it in it's cleared by Bernadeschi and the pace of Marcus Rashford is going to cause us problems Diogo Jota beats his man he's well in through <sighs> it's on the counter we get absolutely destroyed. Diogo Jota, his 16th goal of the season, completely does. I'm assuming it was Socrates for PSA who will click. And was it David Luiz or Socrates? I can't, it won't let me click. It's one of the two, anyway, who cares? Doesn't really matter at this point, but Manchester United take an early lead, 15 minutes in there, first chance of the game, and we are made up here. 22 minutes in now, it's Manchester United who are on the attack, but thankfully we're going to nick the ball. No, we can't. We give the ball back to them. And Jota's in behind once again. Fantastic save by Leno to keep the score at 1-0. I do feel a little bit aggrieved at how things are going right now. Manchester United aren't playing on the counter-attack or anything, but it did come from our set piece when they scored. David Luiz with the... Uh, again, is this going to happen again? Rashford, a, a bombing forward. The pace is electrifying and our players aren't keeping up. He plays it in. We managed to get it clear. And Guendouzi this time sets away the pace of Aubameyang. He's in behind. He was, that was a tough angle. Tough. And that's going to be it for the first half. Manchester United 1. Arsenal 0. We'll have to keep an eye on the Liverpool score. They are currently 1-0 up themselves at home against Spurs. It's, it's not going to happen for us today, boys. I can already feel it. We might. Uh, it's going to go towards the end of the season. But we'll kick off again. Hoping for a big turnaround in the second half. We're not playing badly. We're playing okay. We're just not really creating the opportunities that we need to start creating. 35 minutes to go. Let's see how the rest of this game plays out. Everton carrying the ball forward down this left-hand side. He's cutting in. He goes for goal. And that's a good five or six yards wide. Another highlight now. It's a Torreira corner. This time it's whipped in. It's cleared by Granit Xhaka. Everton keeps the ball alive. Whips in back post. That's not a highlight. Not a highlight. This is going to be the highlight. Marcus Rashford in acres of space in front of our defence. And Jota's in behind again. Leno is up to the challenge this time though and we will look to make some substitutions right now burn leno not having the greatest game everton is going to come off for emile smith row and reese nelson's going to come on for nicholas pepe both wingers change neither having a particularly good game and our youngsters have proved to be useful in games where they have played so hopefully they can do it again today but with only 15 minutes or so remain we're going to go to our, our more attack and tactic push the passing directness to much higher much more direct 
and see if it makes any difference for the final nine minutes. We're going very attacking. And there's a there's not a highlight. I've clicked the timeline and it's went off. We're going to make a substitute. Um, Keaton Tien is going to come off for Siad Kalasnac at the left wing back role. See if he can maybe create some um, havoc down that left hand side. But this might be the highlight that we need. Seven minutes to go. Ozil brings the ball down. He's got Reese Nelson overlap and he goes for goal. The changes have made a difference. Reese Nelson gets his sixth goal of the season. He brings the game level at 1 1. And should we still go for this? This is the question. I am going to come off very attacking. It's too risky on the counter. And we know the pace of Manchester United's already caused us problems in this game. But Reese Nelson comes on. He gets his goal. He gets us back level. Absolutely delighted with that. We are quickly change off attack. And we're still going to go remain attack. And we have dominated this game. Not completely, but I feel like we deserve the three points. But it's not going to be. We get the point though, which is huge. Manchester United won. Arsenal won. It's not going to be Premier League title win for us to... Oh, I've messed up that team talk massively. Um, it's not going to be Premier League title for us, I don't believe, unless... Liverpool ended up getting beat off Spurs, which they drew. So Liverpool is still six points behind us. We are not uh, title winners right now, but it's all but a formality. Six points clear with a six plus 16 goal difference. Our running is very, very kind compared to most. No, it's not. We've got Leicester and Man City. Why did I think it was easy? Leicester away from... Oh, that is... <laughs> That is two very, very difficult games. Well, that's going to be the next episode to see if we can win the Premier League title. <laughs> that did, I wish, why did much? If we'd won that, it was game. It was game over. Never mind, though. Let's move on to the Roma game. So, put the Premier League to the back of your mind. It's the Europa League time this time. And we go into the semi-final 1-0 up after the first leg. It's not ideal, um, particularly with us being at home. Now we are aware. And Roma have done well. And they've knocked out some big teams. Lazio in particular uh, looked like a team who might go far in the competition. But it's Roma who we're facing today. And this is how we're going to line up. Bernd Leno in goal. Bellerin, Socrates, David Luiz and Tini at the defence. It's going to be Lucas Torreira and Thomas Partey this time in the centre of midfield. Nicolas Pepe, Mesut Ozil and Everton will play behind Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So it looks like Roma are playing a pretty similar side to what they played against us in the first leg. Kalinic up top. Senga's under, Mkhitaryan, of course, our own player, Justin Clivert, Zaniolo, the, their centre of midfield, by the way. It's absolutely unbelievable on uh, football manager. Nicolo Zaniolo, definitely sign him if you've got the opportunity to. And then Lorenzo Pellegrini is just already a complete midfielder, so <laughs> definitely better than our midfield. Juan Jesus, Fazio, Mancini, Florenzi, Paolo Lopez. We've got a job to do here. Don't concede and we're through. First highlight of the game, five minutes in, it's an attack and free kick for Roma. Justin Cliver goes for goal, inches, inches wide. We're going to go on the counter pretty early on here. Early match stats suggest that Roma are going to dominate possession here. Um, and they're going to have to go for this game at one time or another. So we'll be prepared to pounce when they do. Hector Bellerin coming down this right-hand side. Finds Nicolas Pepe in a pocket of space to Ozil. He finds Everton in the box who goes for goal. It is cleared and we retain possession though. Hector Bellerin picks it up again on this right-hand side eventually. And he whips the ball in back post. Everton is there. We get our away goal. And we are 1-0 up on the night. 2-0 up on aggregate. This is a mountain to climb for Roma now. They need three goals to be able to qualify for the final in the Europa League. But we're not going to make it easy for them. Hector Bellerin with a great cross. Everton with a great header. 1-0. Four minutes to go in the first half. Roma will want to get back into this game, but Nicolas Pepe does excellently to dispossess the Roma attack. And there was a freeze there, but Pepe can't, continues on, tries to whip the ball in. It is cleared, and maybe Roma could pounce themselves. No, they couldn't. They give the ball straight back to Santini now. Can, um, uh, well, Leno might be able to build up an attack. Socrates with a big hoof over the top, and Aubameyang's in behind. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang gets his 28th goal of the season despite being injured for three months. And he puts us 2-0 up on the night, 3-0 up on aggregate. This is going far better than the first leg dig. As you can see, it's a long ball. I don't mind that. I'm no Arsene Wenger. And Aubameyang slots it away to put us in a comfortable position now. Roma need four. Just before half-time, there's another highlight. It's Roma on the attack again. But all of our goals have come after pinching possession from Roma, as this has happened now. Everton coming down the left-hand side, whips the ball in, Aubameyang's there. He heads over. 
That would have been a hell of a header, by the way. And that's it for the first half. Roma nil, Arsenal 2. As you can see in the other tie, Borussia Dortmund are 4-0 up themselves on aggregate. So, if things stay as they are, it will be an Arsenal-Borussia Dortmund final. Time is just ticking away in this second half. Only 20 minutes remaining. We will look to make our substitutes. Roma certainly need to be turning things up, but that they haven't really. We'll make all three subs. It'll be Kolasinac, Malqui and Emil Smith-Rowe who come on for Mesut Ozil, Bellerin and Kieran Tierney. And with 10 minutes to go, I'm more than happy. For the cautious, they are on the counter right now, Roma. How unbelievable is that? Who is their manager? He needs sacking. But there we are. An even game. Roma nil. Arsenal 2. 3 nil on aggregate. We are through to the Europa League final where we will almost certainly be playing Borussia Dortmund. So that will be the final episode of this series. It will be the Europa League final against Dortmund. Oh, I'm very, very pleased with how this season's gone so far with the Arsenal. We've only got two episodes left in this series. One for the Premier League, one for the Europa League. So our next episode will be the two crunch games. Two very, very difficult games against Leicester City away from home, who currently sit in fifth position, and Manchester City at home, who sit in third. And just a reminder here for the Premier League, we are six points clear with two games remaining. Liverpool and Manchester City actually, oh my God, I didn't even realise, are the two teams who could end up stealing the title from us. But it would be it would be a very, very big bottle job if that was to happen. We'll see what happens in the next episode. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.